Hey everyone, it's Quicken, and I wanted to do another updated video on our vegan grocery grabs. Uh, we were at the store last night, so I just wanted to update everybody a couple new things that we bought that I saw at the supermarket, and to answer a couple questions. And I have a whole big bag. <laughs> but my last video was like 40 minutes long, so I want to make this one reasonable. So, right on the top here is this new Amy's bowl and it's called Chinese Noodles and Veggies. And you can see right down here at the corner, it says vegan, so they took all the guesswork out there for you. Uh, it says new, I've never seen it before. I'm excited to try it. I bought two, one for John and I, on like one of our busier school nights. So lately, I've been looking for a lot of like breakfast solutions because I've been eating the same breakfast over and over and over again, and it's not necessarily a healthy breakfast, it's just a quick one. So I wanted to experiment with other quick breakfasts. So the first thing I have is this gluten-free blueberry waffles and right here on the side it says vegan and I was excited because it was only $1.79 for this whole box so I bought blueberry and I also bought like buckwheat and I had those for breakfast this morning they were super good I put a picture on my snapchat and I really like these I couldn't it says excellent taste and texture I am like pretty into these and I think because they're gluten free they also try to like make it vegan too to just incorporate everything. I saw one other version of this that wasn't Wegmans brand. It was, I forget the brand, but there are a couple other options. I just went with the generic brand and these are really good, especially for $1.79. I really don't feel bad like eating four at a time, but I bought these as a new breakfast solution. Um, unfortunately, I also bought this, which says, don't be a piggy, um, meatless sausage style crumbles, because I thought this would be a nice thing to, like, adorn my waffles with, but after completely ruining my breakfast, I realized that these are, like, Italian style sausage, and they are for, like, a kind of spaghetti dish. So I did buy these. They're really good. I like the texture, but they were not breakfast sausage. So with that, I also have just this generic marinara, and marinara is generally vegan, so I'm just going to make some sort of pasta dish this week with these two bad boys. On my breakfast thing, I also got just some like maple and brown sugar oatmeal, and I know it's like kind of basic, but it really reminds me of like when I was younger, because this used to be my favorite flavor. So I picked up this. Someone asked me what Uncrustables are, because I feel like I talk about them all the time. And I take them out of the box to store them in the freezer. But they come like this in this box, and they're sold in the freezer section. And they look like this. They are just a tiny little sandwich that is like pressed and frozen. And you put the frozen version like in your purse or your backpack or whatever. And then by the time you get to your destination, it's usually thawed out and you can eat it. So it takes like a half hour to thaw and then it says you have it says thaw for 30 minutes eat within 8 to 10 hours do not microwave I've microwaved these before but they're really a good like snack to put in my backpack and then when I get to school I can eat it and I love these these are whole wheat peanut butter and raspberry so they're really good they have a lot of different options too I love these and to stay on that kindergarten tip I bought juice boxes John and I really like like juice boxes and these are organic orange mango this came in like a Costco size like palette deal with lots of different flavors but we're really going through them so I always like to grab juice boxes I'll put like two in my purse and take them to school they're really durable and good to have and I don't care if that makes me a baby always looking for different options for when we cook I got these two stir-fry sauces this one is sesame garlic with a little vegan symbol. And then this is just stir fry, which says savory soy and garlic ginger for Asian dishes. Stir fry is like John's specialty. It's super easy. I got him a rice cooker for his birthday a few years ago. So it's really easy for us to just like cook up some rice, cut up some tofu, and then kind of fry them all together. And it's great to have different sauce options because I could eat that same dinner for five days in a row so it's good to like spice it up not that these are spicy they're really sweet and this one's like really liquidy oh 
last night we actually cooked this, which is West Soy Seitan cubes. And if you've never had seitan, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good like transitional meat into like being like eating meat into turning into vegetarian because seitan has a lot of texture to it and it's capable of like absorbing a lot of flavor. These are like pre like pre-flavored. This had a lot of flavor in it. It was really chewy and nice. I actually cooked it last night for John and I. I did kind of like a cheesesteak kind of deal and I think it turned out really well. I had like low expectations for this because I've had bad seitan before and honestly this was really good. I would eat this again uh, and it's pre-cooked so really all I did was microwave this and wait for everything else to cook and then I combined them and it was really good. I found myself like kind of eating it as I was cooking. This is good. Um, some Earth Balance. Earth Balance is good for cooking. Uh, I've been putting it on my waffles. This is Soy Garden. Um, I don't know. When we go shopping Sunday and Monday night, usually there's not a lot of stuff to choose from. So I've been getting Soy Garden because no one else buys Soy Garden. Um, mostly people buy the original, which is like this color. But this doesn't taste like, I don't know, it doesn't have like a vegetable seasoning kind of taste to it. It really just tastes like butter. I don't know what soy garden means. But I can understand it throwing somebody off because of like garden cream cheese. But soy garden is, that's just what it is. So, finally, a lot of people ask me for my last video, do you guys eat vegetables? Like, do you guys? And the answer is yes. I didn't throw vegetables into the mix in my last video just because I'm kind of a freak about vegetables and I'll kind of explain. So I used to work in a, I used to work in a big open market where I would buy fresh produce every single day for John and I, like a very European kind of like bring the food home that you're gonna cook every day. And I was buying fresh fruits and vegetable, vegetables all the time. Now that I no longer work there, I'm kind of in this mode where I buy canned, frozen, and fresh all the time. But it kind of depends on my meal. Like, and these are all the same. Like, this is canned corn, and I'll use this whole can if corn is like a side for my meal. So if corn is gonna be my side, I'll use a can of corn. One second. If corn is gonna be a garnish in my meal, I will use frozen corn and kind of just like, I have this like little clip on here. I'll just like sprinkle some frozen corn all around because this like reseals and is really awesome to just like keep in the freezer for life. And if you catch it on sale, this bag of corn is sometimes like almost the same price as this can and just look. So I really like this as a garnish, sprinkle it on something and they all kind of cook together because it's frozen. And if corn is going to be my main dish, then I go all out and I get freaking corn. Um, I live in Pennsylvania, there's a ton of fresh local corn happening for me right now, and probably New Jersey too, all y'all. So I get really weird about like vegetables. I personally have a hard time eating vegetables, I'm not gonna lie. Um, whenever I do eat one, I feel its benefits like immediately because I am so deprived of vegetables. But yeah. I, I think it has to do with like me growing up and like eating canned vegetables like pretty regularly. I love a canned pea. I love peas so much. Recently John and I had to have a conversation about me putting peas in everything that we eat and how to chill with that. But I can't. I love peas. And I just prepare these foods completely different dep depending on the way they are packaged. So yes. I do eat vegetables, don't get me wrong, I just don't think I showed them in the last video because I am a freak about vegetables. And that may have been filmed in a time where I was getting fresh 
fruits and vegetables daily. Now I'm not really like that. And I have a hard time eating fresh fruits and vegetables like on cue just because John and I's schedule is like so up and down that like Monday is a good time for us to like sit down and cook. But then Monday we're usually really tired from working on the house on Sunday. And then Tuesday we don't get in the house until 10 because of school. And then Friday we like to eat out because we worked all week. So cooking fresh fruits and vegetables is like really hard and I envy people who can do it. It's really affordable to do it. It's cheaper I feel like than getting all this canned vegetables and all that stuff and the storage and whatever but it does take a dedication that like is not available in my schedule. So that is everything that I picked up the other night that is unique to this this episode. All of our usual stuff, soy milk, chicken patties, um, sausage patties, bread, veganaise, those can all be seen in my previous video, which I can leave a link for. And those are things that we buy every single time. These are just kind of like wild card items that I've been wanting to check out or explain. So before this video is over, there has been some talk about the Bronco and I did just want to address it really quick. I wanted to address it at the end in case you are a new viewer and you're like, what? I'm not even watching this. So it's going to turn out that we probably need to get a lawyer for our Bronco. As a young wild card, I have never gotten a lawyer before, so I really don't know the process. However, the damage that was done to the Bronco, because our vehicle is an 82, in our eyes we see this as a vintage like car and in their eyes, they see it as a dumpster with wheels. So they want to total our car and they will only pay out if we give them a salvage title. And John talked to them and said, hey, um, I am a young mechanic, like I can fix the repairs. I just need a new door, a new panel, a new light. These three things, maybe more, I do not understand cars. But Ryder says, we will only pay out if you salvage the car, take it to a junkyard, get proof, and send us the proof that you put it in a junkyard. I don't know why that's easier. I don't know why they wouldn't just like UPS, like FedEx us a new Bronco door. But so because we do not want to salvage our car, it is our young baby, even though it's older than us, it is our grandfather. Because we don't want to salvage our grandfather truck um, it, it's starting to look like we might need to get a lawyer. Um, I don't have much experience with any of that. Uh, one time I researched like small claims court and I told John that we could probably do that. I think it's like $60, but I don't know if we can take Ryder to small claims court. But if anyone has any experience, people have been really cool Snapchatting me, wishing me luck. If any of you are lawyers and you want to give me advice, that would be great because I do not want Ryder to take my car, especially because it's not totaled. It just has some minor damage on the driver's side. And it, they're really like, I, I don't know, holding us hostage because we've been in a car accident where our car was totaled. And that makes sense because that car was destroyed because it was hit by another car at 60 miles an hour. That car is destroyed. The Bronco is fine. It has very minor damage very cosmetic damage. We just want to be reimbursed for John's time in fixing the Bronco. Um, you can see on my Instagram, John did replace, John and Dan did replace the one door, but I don't know. Um, hit me up, let me know, and thank you so much for watching my grocery haul. Sorry to add this Bronco tidbit at the, at the end, but I did want to just keep everybody updated because I thought this was all over and you know John and I celebrated and ate some pizza and we were so excited but Bronk, the rider admitting fault wasn't the same thing as like us winning it was just them being like oh that is us in that security footage that you definitely got anyway thank you so much uh, hashtag quite cool uh, hashtag QCKND Quicken if you want me to see your stuff on Instagram or Twitter. Thank you so much. I love you guys and until next time. Bye.